So you're still giving up show business to work at Ikea? Oh no, God no. Since we got back from Sweden, I've actually been promoted. Oh. I'm taking over Justine Bateman's talk show, 40 and Bitter. One time, a critic described me as a thinking man sex symbol. Not really sure what that means. It's like you have to seriously contemplate having sex with me. <laughs> it's funny. Oh my God! I am so thrilled to meet you. This is hap. This is real. Oh man, Pluto Nash. May I say, underrated, underrated. After that scare you gave me in the Oopsala Forest, I'm never gonna let you out of my sight. <laughs> well, never. What about when I meet the man of my dreams? <laughs> oh, Illy. That's never gonna happen. It takes some time. You're my producer. We have a serious problem because if you think that this man is going to be my producer. Eliana, in our IKEA family, we all support each other. He is your partner now, for better or for worse. We do have something in common. I don't want to be here as much as you don't want me here. But we've got a show to put on. And Howard Frisk, yes, that's me. He knows a thing or two about putting a show. Certain factors have come to light since our trip this week. Inter IKEA is involved. Global will be studying us and making a report. If this show doesn't work out, it's not like you can just go back to retail. Sigvard Thorsten, the head of the company, sent me here to study your performance and effect on consumers and your co-workers, and then to write a report. Everybody's a critic. <laughs> I don't need any joke writers for my show, especially IKEA joke writers. I'm not just a joke writer, Liana. Around here, people call me the Persian Don Draper. Who calls you that? Um, Love is like riding a bike. You never forget how. But when you fall, you'll surely know it. And you want to make sure someone is there to catch you. Coworker Ileana may care more for fun than commerce, but she brings one thing to Ikea which cannot be undervalued. She loves to come to work. <laughs>